In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create this floating contact icon using Elementor. Alright, so here I have the look of this button and how this button works. So if I click on this button, if I just hover over it before click, if I just hover over on this button, as you can see here, this nice hover effect. And if I click on this button, this pop up will show up. So this is basically the call for the contact. And if I directly, if, like if you want to use this button on your website, and if you want that viewers will directly call you from their website so if you can use this button here then if you click on this button and then automatically the caller app will be opened and directly the viewer will call you so this is very useful button you can add in your website to them just uh, do the things more easier and the for the more easy especially for the visitor they are visiting your website like they don't know about the technical parts they just want to contact you by call so this just, just visit your website and just click on contact and the contact will open so i'll show you step by step that how you can achieve this button so let's start the video so here i'm on the wordpress dashboard and here are all the pages so i want to uh, basically the, the show you that how you can create this button but before doing this first decide that how where you, the button will be showed you want uh, that you want how, where the button will show like i am using this button on the home page because most of the visitor will directly visit your website on the home page that's absolutely right so that's why i want to use this button on the home page so i am going with the view also i am going to here on the edit elementor but i already opened a tab here is the tab so here i am clicking on the edit element button and here i will use this button on the home page so first decide where you want to show up then click on the page like here this view also you can click and the edit elementor you can click here so i am using this uh, on the home page so that's why i click with the edit elementor button and here elementor is loading so after waiting few seconds the website elementor page will now it's came okay so here's the button so i am deleting this button here by right click on this and delete now the button is vanished so we will see that how you can create this button so at first here you can see the already button is here but for your case you may not have seen this this like button so let's create a button from scratch all right so six dot icon click it click on this rubik six dot icon then you can see here scroll to scroll down from the elements bar here's the button so drag and drop the button like this and then here you will see like this button so you may this button may vary on the themes you are using like if i am using astra theme uh, sorry i think i am using block c so let's check it so appearance and go to the themes okay oh yeah yes i'm using this block c theme so maybe you are using astra theme or any uh, this default 2021 theme so the button may vary uh, look other things but the customization of the elementor page builder is same so click on this button and then you can change the button text like if you want to uh, change this button text on contact like contact or you can say contact us so i'm uh, click on this uh, i'm choosing contact us then um, i think we should write call us yes because call us is should perfect for the call icon now if you want to add a call so search here i think we have to search for phone yes from the icon library you can search okay so here's the icon library i just forgot to show you here's the icon and you can click on this icon library also you can upload an svg so click on this icon library and from search bar here type here phone so we'll get these all icons and they are absolutely free also and if i click on this icon and click on insert here's the icon came and icon spacing i am increasing the spacing like this 10 now it's looking fine now customization part so let's go to the style tab to customize it and text color will be i am choosing this black color so i already set it this all global colors but if you have not set it so click on this color wheel and then from the color palette drag and drop it like this and you will select this black color now go to the background color so let's click on this color palette and here's the background type color you can select it like this so i already set a global color so that's why i'm choosing this color 
and now go to the typography here click on this pen icon and select so I am choosing Poppins font for now and then weight will be 600 all right now go to the border radius part and I'm selecting this 5 pixel now if you want to uh, place the button here like floating so how you can make this float so to go to the advanced tab then you can see this position here is the front position click on this drop down then fixed now you may think that the button is disappeared so here you will get the button so just play around with it offset and you will see the button here so you may think that where is the button it's it's still not coming so let me tell you you can click on this default and it will come and then you just have to here do the th things that is click on fixed and then vertical orientation should be like this here you can see the button is now came and now if you want to place the button here so just drag and drop it like it and then vertical this offset i mean this is horizontal so like this here so i want to keep the button on the um, alignment with the top here top bottom here so to look good so that's why i am placing this here so now uh, if you can see i just hover over it so it's not showing any uh, animation so let's add some hover animation so click on this hover and you may think that this black color is text and the yellow color is uh, this background color so for now this hover color will be this yellow color and uh, this background color will be uh, i mean black color i think we did some mistake we need some a border so let's add the border here solid and two pixel border and let's select this border color as the yellow color yes now it's looking good and if i hover on it we can see the yellow border is now coming also the black color background is coming now the background color just drag and drop it like it and then uh, from here i'm selecting this one and now you can see this nice hover effect so you can also do this also you can make this um, play around with this color wheel so you can better understand okay i think we just uh, did a lot with this customization so i just keep it as it is and let's just click on this uh, content and let's see how you can make it as a call i mean whenever in click of visitor click on this call as button so the pop-up will come and they can call by their phone or pc so let's go to the content and from here link uh, here is just uh, by default here is showing hash so let's add one tell i mean telephone tel then type here your, um, your number so i'm typing randomly like this and if i just click on update don't forget to click on the update and then let's see on the preview so if i click on this you can see this pop-up will come so that's how you can create this call us button this is very useful for the like your hospital website like if you any visitor just uh, visit your website to call you so you can just use this button and they will be much easier for their uses if this video is helpful for you please hit the like button subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon for the first notification thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you on the next video